guys it's brilliant to have you all here today can you believe it's been two years since we saw you play at Molyneux for the Wolf disability team against Cardiff City now we wanted to have a chat to each of you today to see what you've been up to since that match as part of our one pack week but firstly let's remind ourselves of that incredible win 3-2 30,000 fans how amazing did it feel playing in front of that crowd Taylor oh it was absolutely unbelievable I mean I've been a Wolves fan since I was born, so playing at Molyneux in front of 30,000 fans was a dream come true. When we first started, I was just walking out, I was just dead in my head, I'm scoring today, no matter what I'm scoring. Like a dream of mine's always been to score at Molyneux, so no matter what happened, I was going to score, so, and then I did it. And then obviously set Jordan up for that one as well. I was just asking Brad for the first one, just to swear to me. I was in space and I had to plant it in the bottom corner, just like Jimenez scores. So, oh, um, and then the second goal, I wasn't sure what to do. Keeper was trying to hold it. And then I just, just thought, you know what, I think I might score here. And I did. That was just <laughs> funny that was, but it was a cracking win. Taylor, you and Brad are both now studying on the degree program here at Wolves. You performed and played in front of thousands of people. Do you think that helps to give you the confidence to do the coaching on your degree? Uh, massively. When I first started at the foundation nine years ago, I, I was a shy little kid who didn't really speak to anyone and just stood at the back beyond people. And like now, I'm like I'm kind of a leader for my team. Like I organise everyone when we play matches, and I, I try to make sure everyone's okay. Like when we get to training as well. When I joined the foundation as a player, it was sort of, I was the same as Brad, I was very nervous, very timid, and I was going through a little bit of a rough patch in life. So it was sort of a struggle to make friends, but then slowly and surely I grew my confidence as a player. And then obviously being able to play on the pitch and then go on to the degree programme really increased my confidence. Whereas before I wouldn't have been able to actually go out and deliver a session to people now because of the foundation and because of the degree. I now have the confidence to go out and deliver sessions to not only people from the Wolves Foundation, but also my non-league club as well. Oh, that's so that's so good to hear. And Jordan, of course, since you played on the pitch, you volunteered as well, a bit with the Wolves Foundation, and you've been volunteering now for three years, which is absolutely fantastic. What sort of things do you do in your role? Um, I do coaching with the players. Um, I like encouraging them as well, like I'm a football gaffer on the side. What would you say your favourite thing is uh, in coaching? I enjoyed helping anybody, whoever's having a hard time with anything they want to do. Um, and then I'd step in a little bit and then just give them a bit of an instruction how to do it correctly. So That's so, so good. Um, yeah, thank you so much, all of you, for chatting with me today. It's great to see how well you're all doing. Good luck with the rest of your degrees, Brad and Taylor, and hopefully we'll thank see you. you all back playing very, very soon.